Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith, and I'm going to discuss this fascinating paper that just came out uh, the end of last year in Nature Communications called Undiscovered Bird Extinctions Obscure the True Magnitude of Human Driven Extinction Waves. So if they're undiscovered, how do we even know about them? Well, the um, ones we know about are in the fossil record or they're in, you know, or they've occurred since 1500 and we have records of them. But if you look at the fossil record of birds, it's very incomplete. So you can do statistical analysis and show that although we don't know the details, there were many, many bird extinctions um, that don't appear in the fossil record and there's no other way we know about them other than that they mess up the overall fossil record. They, so they have to have occurred. So what does the abstract say? Birds are among the best studied animal groups, but their pre -div prehistoric diversity is poorly known due to low fossilization potential. Hence, while many human-driven bird extinctions, i.e. extinctions caused directly by human activities such as hunting, as well as indirectly through human-associated impacts such as land use change, fire, and the introduction of invasive species, the true number of extinctions is likely much larger. So they combine recorded extinctions with model estimates based on the completeness of the fossil record. And their findings suggest that at least 1,300 to 1,500 bird species, or about 12% of the total, have gone extinct since the late Pleistocene, which is about 126,000 years ago or so. 55% of these extinctions undiscovered which are basically not yet discovered or they left no trace, but we know we're there. they're there because of the fossil record analysis. So the Pacific accounts for about 61% of total bird extinctions, mostly Pacific islands. Bird extinction rate varied through time with an intense episode about 1300 before common era which likely represents the largest human-driven vertebrate extinction wave ever and a rate of 80 times the background extinction rate. So humans have already driven more than one in nine bird species to extinction. This likely has severe and potentially irreversible ecological and evolutionary consequences. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the, what the papers found. Okay, so there's basically four big waves of human expansion, human arrival. There's the pre-Holocene, so out of Africa, you know, into Asia, across land bridges into North America, down to South America, also across land bridges and short waterway passages into Australia. So that's the pre-Holocene dispersal of humans on the planet. And the bird extinctions you can see um, are indicated by bird images on the screen there. Then there's the early Holocene uh, dispersal up from the pre-Holocene up to about 900 common era. And you can see those pink areas here where there were, you know, where there were bird extinctions and bird, bird migration of humans and then bird extinctions in those regions the Polynesian expansion and expansions here as well into the Caribbean. From 900 common era to 1500 common era, you can see uh, is the, uh, the brownish uh, here. So some other islands basically in the Pacific mostly. And then 1500 common era to present day those ones are recorded in literature mostly. Are, there are some fossils, those ones you can see here in some more islands that were untouched before. Okay, so there's, so human expansion across the planet is classified into these four major waves. And um, you can see that there were extinctions in each of these waves and how many. So let's have a look. So, Here's the 
number of extinct bird species that we think, 1430, with some error bars there. Okay, the statistical distribution, that's in total. We've observed um, 225 of them directly. In the fossil record, we found 417 species of birds that went extinct. And but from the statistical analysis, we, uh, we, we, there's undiscovered, we haven't observed them, they're not in the fossils, but we know that they're there because of, of, of gaps in the fossil record for birds being incomplete, 788, which is, which is just over half, it's about 55% of the total. Where have they been seen? Well, the observed um, extinctions of the birds are shown in the in the um, dots here on the map. Okay, and the number of species extinct is shown by the size of the circle. So this would be 40 species extinct down here. Okay, this is this here is a total of 200 extinct here, and the breakdown from observed. So modern day, the fossils, and then the undiscovered ones. And so you can see that for each of these different regions. So the observed, you know, following uh, different, the, the pink basically, the fossil record is the blue, um, and the undiscovered is the brown. Okay, so you can see where uh, so based on the fossil record, even in the specific to individual locations, you know there was a bird species there that went extinct, but it wasn't observed and it didn't leave a fossil, but we know it's there. Okay, so this is fascinating, um, fascinating research. And you can see the um, bird extinction rate, the extinctions uh, of species per year, basically. You can see what's happening from, um, so to present day from 4,000 years ago, cumulative bird extinctions, you can see a big jump up here and another huge jump up here. This is about, you know, a thousand, the year a thousand or so. Um, so this is on a finer scale. If you go to, uh, if you look uh, down here, you can see the number of species. This is cumulative, actually. So you can see the big jump occurring here. So this is now year to year. You can see a big jump here. This is X1, large extinction here, you know, around the year 1000 or so. You can see another large one, or, or that's, a, that's around minus 1000. So that's about 3000 years ago. You can see a big one there. About 1000 years ago, you can see another huge one here. Um, and then we're undergoing the third one, right? The third wave right here. Okay, and you can see where they were. So this is extinction one. This is 1541 before common era to 438 common era. And you can see the different regions, um, mostly on islands, the Mariana, Tonga, Fiji, Canaries, New Caledonia, the different island groups where there was large extinctions in those time periods as humans were occupying those islands probably for the first time. Then you can see another wave from 459 common era to 1742 common era. Again, on many islands, lots on Hawaii, um, various island chains, uh, lots on New Zealand, the Azores, you know, Cook Islands. Okay, in this time frame, most again, as people started occupying and growing in numbers on these islands in the Pacific mostly. And then you can see the modern extinctions. This is 1742 to 2019. These ones are recorded, of course, mostly recorded. Um, and you can see the extinctions again based on the size of the circles. So many in Hawaii. Um, and other other island groups. Okay, so this is the breakdown over time uh, from year to year and cumulative. So many, many species. Um, and they talk about the methods and how they look in the fossil records and 
you know, there is basically, they have fossil bird extinctions, extinct species only known from fossil evidence, and then they have um, potential additional extinct birds from the richness of the species minus fossil extinctions, plus observed extinctions, plus living species. From those, you can extrapolate and get um, the number of undiscovered bird extinctions, and then you can get a total, the magnitude, rate, and distribution of bird extinctions. Okay, so that's the sort of methodology that they use. Um, lower bound estimation, prehistoric extinct birds, you know, more, more data on, on their methods and so on. But basically, I want to keep this video short for this one. So basically, you know, birds are among the best studied animal groups. Um, we've lost between 1,300 and 1,500 bird species in the last 126,000 years. That's about 12% of the total number of birds. 55% um, of these extinctions were, are so-called undiscovered. They're not yet discovered or they're left, they've left no trace, but we know that they're there because of the, uh, the analysis of the, the fossil, of the, the, the tree of life for birds, basically. Um, the Pacific accounts for 61% of total bird extinctions. That's mostly small islands in the Pacific. So small islands that had these birds, you know, people moved and migrated, found these islands, occupied them, grew in numbers, and the, the birds often went extinct. The bird extinction rate varied through time. There was an intense episode about 1300 common era, which likely represents the largest human driven vertebrate extinction wave ever at a rate 80 times the background extinction rate. Okay, and uh, so you can see the migration of people in four major waves and then the bird extinctions in the different regions that occurred. You can see the total number of bird extinctions, about 12% of the total number of birds. Um, we have observed extinctions, we have fossil record extinctions, but there's a lot that are not observed or in the fossil record, but we know they occur and here's a distribution of them on the planet. And this is the rate, the bird extinction rate through time and uh, the cumulative rate and the locations of where the extinctions occurred through time. So it's a fascinating study. Um, it really shows how humans have impacted the, uh, you know, bird uh, populations on the planet over time. And it shows that the, you know, it's underappreciated. The undiscovered bird extinctions obscure the true magnitude of human driven extinction waves. So fascinating study. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, please, uh, go to my website, paulbeckwith.net and, and um, support my research and videos by donating to my PayPal account. Thanks again, and bye for now.